Hi friends, welcome to the YouTube channel Transformation Unlimited. I'm Jayaprakash Nagati Harli, mentor, author, and social media influencer. Today I'm going to share with you all of you that uh, on the topic, know thyself. It's quite interesting, no? We have to know about ourselves, isn't it? So after observing all these points, I request all of you to comment without fail. And if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, do subscribe it now. Yes, friends, know thyself. So said the great Greek philosopher Socrates. He believed that all virtues converge into lead to being good and therefore knowledge of one's true self and purpose of one's existence is very, very important. It is a course of a lifetime. Knowing thyself is a continuous learning. Uh, this learning starts within the self and ends within. It's important that you consistently ask yourself, who am I? Who am I? Yes, you are a boy or you are a girl. But go beyond to understand more about yourself. Ask deeper questions to yourself and find answers to it. The more you question, the better you will understand yourself. Do a simple exercise for yourself. It is called the SWOT analysis. Yes stands for strengths, W stands for weaknesses, O stands for opportunities, and T stands for threats. Strengths. Each one of us have been blessed with strengths which help us to face the world, interact with others, plan for ourselves, etc. Can you identify the strengths that you possess? For example, study well, energetic, friendly, neat, happy, helpful, pleasant, etc. Weaknesses. These are hindrances that come in the way of our plans to be successful. They come in the way of our development and progress. You must identify them so that you work on them and change them to strengths. Example, shy, spend too much money, don't study, anger, jealous, etc. Opportunities. Identify instances where you can prove your abilities. Do you participate in competitions? Do you go out of your way to help others? Do check. Threats. Things that you should and would like to avoid. Example, bad company, bad habits, feeling of being inferior, like that. Here are a few advantages of knowing yourself. Number one, develop self-identity. This is very, very important. You are going through a stage in your life in which you are capable of abstract reasoning and critical thinking. You will question and re-examine your childhood beliefs and uh, values that you were taught at home or in school. Do you find school or college life enjoyable and meaningful? What makes it or does not make it so? Have you discovered your interests and abilities? What must I do to discover my talents? What are good values for a good life? Do I understand my parents, teachers, and friends better? What should I do to understand them better? Ask yourself and find answers by yourself. Your parents, teachers, and friends are there to make your life richer, but they cannot answer these questions for you. That means you will discover that you are unique. Every one of us is born with talents. We need to develop our virtues and lead an exemplary life. Can you identify some good people around you? Can you identify people who have lived an exemplary life and gave us so much to think about? 
can you be that example for others remember there is no other person like you you can be an example number 2 develop self confidence we have nothing to fear but fear itself franklin d roosevelt says like this self esteem is how you feel about yourself and how you regard yourself compared to others the foundation of a healthy self esteem is developed in our likely childhood usually built up by parents okay and teachers however as you grow older you would tend to measure your self worth based on what your peers and others think of you images of celebrities and movie stars portrayed in the media may influence how you feel about your physical appearance and acceptability you need to learn to accept that everyone is unique and you have to accept your strengths and deal with your weaknesses do not be too preoccupied with your appearance and learn to cultivate and develop other aspects of your life get involved in activities you enjoy and derive joy and satisfaction from achieving the goals that you set for yourself that means success breeds success and you will soon find your confidence level increasing with each victory point number 3 make friends i am a part of all whom i have met all friend tennyson says like this as you grow older you will find that your parents and family are no longer the only ones important to you your world has expanded to include your friends it is important for you to be careful of the friends you make who you become as a lot to do with the company you keep that means though it is important to have friends and be accepted by them it is equally important to be able to differentiate between good and bad company and at the same time also develop the courage to say no to bad influence i think you do that point number 4 achieve success besides getting good grades or being a good athlete there are other indicators to success the ability to express oneself verbally or in writing the ability to reason logically and solve problems the ability to form mental pictures as a as in creating works of art the ability to compose music or express other musical talents the ability to carry out activities like dancing martial art and adventurous activities okay got it interpersonal skills as expressed in the ability to understand other people and be sensitive to their feelings personal self awareness as expressed in the ability to understand oneself and develop one's identity how do you interact with everyone around have you acquired skills and good values to understand others and yourself better and gain the sense of belonging point number 5 set goals sometimes you may feel that you are not succeeding because you are not understood how to set your goals or manage your stress tips in goal setting develop a smart strategy for goal setting it is an acronym s stands for specific m stands for measurable a stands for achievable the r stands for responsible and t stands for time frame or time bound specific what specific specifically do i intend to achieve measurable how do i know when i have achieved it achievable is my goal realistic responsible am i willing and able to be responsible for it is it desirable time frame when will i have to accomplish it if i am not for myself who will be and if i am only for myself what am i what a powerful sentence by golda meir let me repeat if i am not for myself who will be and if i am not only i am only for myself who am i 
knowing del thyself is then a matter for personal commitment to ourselves because that will guide us to be successful in li life that will propel us to be useful to others in life friends know thyself is one of the very very important aspects in your in our life so please watch again and again at least three times you will get to know and of course swat we're going to do and uh, to set the goal you have to be very smart what's your opinion do comment i would like to uh, watch all your uh, comments and of course i am going to reply to you bye bye uh, if you are not subscribed yet do subscribe now i will see you in the next video bye bye